What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of the video, I hope you subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support on the road to 25k subs by the end of the year. Let's get it. If you like the music that you hear, click the links there in the description. All right. So today we are going to be reacting to a clip from Fresh and Fit. And then after this, I'm going to be showing you guys a post that I had put up on my Facebook that's actually related to this same subject. All right. So you saw the thumbnail. Y'all know what's up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. I still do OnlyFans and I still do certain things, but I all the money that I make, it does go towards my family. My family didn't have a good uprising, so whatever I do make, it does. Question, do you want kids? I'll bring in. I do want kids. Do you want kids? Absolutely. You want kids? Yeah. He has an OnlyFans too, by the way. We do not care. Okay. Uh, do you want kids, Miss Colorado? Yes. Okay. Uh, would you be okay with, let's say, 15 years down the line, right? <laughs> your son and his schoolmates find your OnlyFans. What are you going to say to that? I feel like it was a hobby and I started during the pandemic. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what about you, bruh? What are you gonna say? Uh, <laughs> I saw your mom's asshole on OnlyFans for three ninety nine. <laughs> she was good. she was making roast beef, but I saw that roast beef. That's what kids say, man. Kids on the playground are fucking ruthless, man. They don't care. They're honest yeah. to the teeth. Yeah, kids don't lie. And yeah, trust me, I used to be a teacher. I, <laughs> what are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? I would, uh, I guess, tell them that I did it with someone that I was. You know, interested or in love with at the time. Not the cap. And you know me. Bro, mommy, he don't love you back. Where is he? <laughs> what are you gonna say to that? I'm be like, is he my dad? I'm gonna I'm I'm tell them. You know, you might go through some things where, you know, you might think that you love a person and it doesn't work out. It's a part of life. Hey, mommy, so, you went so, through so everything. You're, so you're gonna say put it on camera? <laughs> no, not put it put it on camera. It's just the simple fact that you know I thought I was in lo you know in love with someone and that we could do this together and it didn't it didn't work out okay what about you what are you gonna say to your kid i'm gonna say the same thing it was a hobby i started in quarantine hey Boom, oh all right and what are you gonna say <laughs> you can't make this shit up with that mandingo okay if i'm being honest <laughs> yeah um they find your videos. it's something it's something i have thought about but it's it's something that i still think like i, I want to be able to communicate with my kid Okay. To, like with, I want to tell them how I actually felt about everything, okay. but it's something I have to think about. Like, it's what kids are, are different. Say? It's something I can't really tell you right now. I I I, I know how I felt, but it's something that I. Your want kid comes to home crying from the playground. He goes, "Mom, how dare you? I saw you getting railed by some black dude. Oh my god, the kids are making fun of me. It sucked." I'm gonna go beat that kid up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my kid will not be finding my. It's son. crazy because I. <laughs> my kid's gonna be homeschooled, so um, he's never gonna know. It's crazy because I went to I went to um, school with my best friend. We call each other cousins now, but her mom was a porn star, and everybody would make fun of her and <laughs> they would make fun of her and be like, oh, I saw your mom on porn and she honestly didn't get fucked. She was like, that's what she and this is this is like third, fourth grade. So she was like, I don't give a fuck. Like my mom makes money. She supports me. She does whatever and it's just like she belongs to the street. Like still to this day, she would never let anyone disrespect her mother. My mom yeah, my mom was a model and she did bikini modeling. And when I look her back mom. on it, I'm like, damn, like my mom was hot. My mom True. did feet porn. Yeah. Hey. I never understood why there were so many nail polishes till she told me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the difference is, is, is that the, when your son gets made fun of for it, that's yeah. gonna suck. I don't think they're gonna get made fun of for it. I'm oh really? Oh, like, you must not know how like, little boys think. Like, yeah, the, the, the boys will be like, is oh, gonna get more used to. You stupid. It's gonna be this, normalized. I feel like it will so? be because these kids, a lot of these kids are like transgendered and their pronouns are all. Crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, yeah. Been, it's been wild. So like a lot of it's like what is that? The world is becoming a very progressive place. Okay. OnlyFans is just becoming more and more normalized as an alternative way of making income. Mm -hmm. yeah. So exactly. I think you know now it's like oh yeah ha ha she does OnlyFans she must be sucking dick. It's like no it's. Did you hear about the teacher that lost her job for filming OnlyFans in the classroom? Well, yeah, yeah. she should, because well, that's, that's disgusting and disturbing, oh, and those are little kids, of course. But isn't OnlyFans going to be accepted? 
Nope. Well, that's a different okay, scenario. I don't think she's saying scenario. You're not supposed to. I don't, I don't think any, any kid should see that. I wouldn't it's, even want, my, even if my kid saw me cooking naked, I'd be like, I'm sorry, you didn't need to see that. But, you know, <laughs> but that's what I did. did. That's but they, what can't I did. Even create, they can't create an OnlyFans account. It doesn't matter. It, they but, swipe videos, they post. You know what's funny? They have how a, are they going to see they that? They have a leaderboard. There's Twitter. No, no, this is real. They have a leaderboard, right? For most, uh, I guess, OnlyFans accounts in the area, our district, and they post up the videos for free on his leaderboard. And if they find your last name, you're screwed. Haram! So what are you gonna do? Oh, I use a fake name, so yeah, me too. Maybe, they can still find they're you. Gonna yeah, find yeah, you. Yeah, they can still find you. Okay. Gotcha, so, bitch. They're gonna. You stupid. You must unlearn what you have learned. All I heard was excuses, 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 excuses. I don't know if y'all was paying attention to this girl right here in particular, because if I remember correctly, she was a bit of a headache during this stream. And I can see why. Notice how she said the world is becoming more progressive. I think women like her and other women that do OnlyFans, they're counting on this. They, they, they're gonna hold on, they're, they're gonna hold on to that stock. Bruh. Until they think it's finally, until they think it's finally good enough for them to sell. Meaning, these women like this are gonna stay single until they find men that are accepting of what they do. That's why you got women over here walking around interviewing random men, asking them if they would date a woman with OnlyFans. Because women are trying to normalize this. These women don't give two shits about their kids, bro. Oh, I'm gonna just tell them that That was pathetic. Let me show y'all this. Let me let me show y'all this post from my Facebook page, man. This is crazy. Check this out. All right. So you got this post here. It says, "A whole wife, poor kid. This is why being a man with strong boundaries is paramount. Never accept this degeneracy, ever. I'm divorcing my wife over her OnlyFans account. I can't stand the shame." A husband has said he is leaving his wife after she started an OnlyFans account, stating he is uncomfortable with her decision and says their 11 year old daughter is being bullied. Now, you tell me this, you mean to tell me you're gonna put your hands on a kid because of a decision that you made? Bruh. At the end of the day, look, ain't nobody over here trying to tell women what they can and cannot do. But what men are, are going to tell women is that y'all need to accept what comes with the decisions that y'all make. Take it from somebody who used to be a drug dealer for a living at one point in time. When I got locked up, I didn't blame, I didn't blame my licks for getting locked up. I didn't blame society. I didn't blame the system. I took it on, I, I blamed myself, took it on the chin, laid down and did my time and came back home. And when I came back home, I wasn't complaining and blaming, blaming everybody else for me having to pretty much start life all over. See, that's the differences between men and women in this progressive world. Y'all got a hundred, uh, y'all got a hundred and one safety nets. Men, we don't have any. That's why the burden of performance will always be on us. Therefore, that's why men don't respect what comes easy for women, such as showing your assets on the internet. And not only that, you see how this, this post right here shows you how much men value the upbringing of their kids. They don't wanna see their kids have to go through this. Women, however, they don't care, man. It's, 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 all, it's all about them first, clearly. Like between that clip and this post right here, bro. But it was somebody, somebody, some, Somebody said this in the comments, and I did a video on this about a week or so ago. You know, we we gotta hold the men accountable too. Trust me, man, you don't know her. Like, bro, I wish all of these guys would just get a passport and leave. Like, cause at the end of the day, this ain't gonna change until men start showing some discipline and stop being impressed by just what they see. I mean, I know men are visual creatures, but at some time, at some point in time, we gotta show some discipline. Otherwise, this ain't gonna change and the women are just gonna get worse. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this one, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. And hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.